Are you ready to learn more about hydrologic cycle? If yes, listen carefully. Before anything else, I suggest you to enable the caption for you to understand the video clearly. Let's start. Hydrologic cycle is the scientific term for water cycle. It has its three major processes. The evaporation, condensation, and the precipitation. Additional information, we also have the transpiration. So in what process do hydrologic cycles start exactly? Sorry, but I don't even know that. It is because it might start in precipitation, but could also be in evaporation. Am I right? I stand to be corrected. Anyway, to expound this matter, let's have the water reservoir. The first major process is the evaporation process. It is the process wherein the liquid state will be transferred into vapor or gaseous state. The water from the reservoirs, with the help of the sun, will evaporate not totally but partially. Followed by the process of condensation, the water vapor will be in its liquid state again. It happens in the clouds. Now if the clouds cannot hold the water any longer, then it will precipitate. It will fall back into the ocean or to anywhere else. It could be in the mountain, in the woods, or anywhere. Transpiration pertains to the plants absorbing the water from the soil. The water will circulate to the branches and leaves to eventually release water vapor in the atmosphere. It is all connected. Let me give you another example. During our wash day or the day where we are supposed to wash our used clothes, we wash it, we make bubbles and we wash it again and finally dry it. I mean, let's exclude the dryer machine here. Let's go in the traditional way, the sun dry. We dry our clothes with the help of the sun. Then the water from the clothes will evaporate. And then there's a possibility about raining, meaning the clouds cannot hold the water anymore. If it starts to precipitate, then you must hurry and get your clothes. I hope you guys learned something from me. This is John Ezekiel and thank you for watching.